Hello again. This is the second part of probably many of this first Texas blue box. And um, when I left the first part, uh, this was a tangled mess. And um, so I untangled it and then I started the video again. Um, so I found this. This is going into craft. This piece here is coming off of this. And I don't know. I mean, it could be glass. <laughs> I'm tired. It's hard to tell. Let me see if I can get my gem tester over here. And we can tell right away if it's glass. I I would hate to think that somebody would wear that for it being some sort of a glass piece. It's probably acrylic. And, oh, I just turned off. Oh, did I unplug? I unplugged. I unplugged the light. Looking for the gem tester. So let's see if we can get back on track here. What happened to my light? Did it, oh, maybe I'm plugged from the wall. I live in a Victorian. These things happen. Nothing works. Okay, I'm plugged in. And I'm on. Yay. Okay, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. And I'm going through this Tennessee blue box. And it's going to be several parts. Um, it's not really a sales video. It is a, you know, watching me do stuff video. But if you see something you like, go ahead and email me. I don't have any prices right now, but you know me. I am a, you know, $5, um, you know, buy four, get one free type person. Um, I do have already a bunch of stuff that's going into craft. And what did I do? Oh, this. We were going to find out if this is glass. And the gem tester is ready. So this is probably going to go into some sort of a craft bag. And... not even registering as glass. Yeah, it's working. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is plastic, but this whole thing is going to go into craft because this is falling apart. So there's that. I have a craft pile back here somewhere. That really hit hard. This I thought was pretty. It's a pretty little necklace. Doesn't show a lot of a lot of wear, just maybe right here. Um, thinking the stone is glass. It might be some sort of quartz or something. But I'm going to call it glass because this is a fashion piece. But it's a nice piece. The beads are pretty. There is a W on the little tag there. I don't know if you can see that. So it's nice. So I'll put that with the necklaces that I pulled out earlier in the previous video. Did find another earring. Um, this, I think, is a hot mess. For some reason, somebody glued this onto something. Or maybe it, this could be like maybe... Was it glued onto some sort of um, basket? I don't think it's really a necklace. I think it's some sort of decor item. This would drive me crazy, that dangling down my back. I feel like I have spiders on me or something. So this, I'm not sure what it is. So It's a mystery item. This is three E's. E! 
This looks like it's never been worn. And it is magnetic. The E's aren't, but... Eh. Okay, well that... I don't know. I might scratch it, test it. Just, I think... We'll see. I'll put that in my test pile. I have two things in my test pile. If you didn't see the last one, I did find some sterling. This that matter the whole piece might be sterling and then there was something else I wanted to test on a look like a rosary but everything on here was magnetic except for this Virgin Mary statue but it doesn't it just doesn't look sterling but it's a really cool piece. So I'll give it a scratch. See if what happens. This I thought was pretty cool. It's got, you know, all these amulets on it. Different little baubles. And then this thing was floating around, so I don't know if it goes with it. The color, you know, it's an enhancer. The color kind of matches. So this may have been stuck on here somehow, some way, or not. Could have gone to something else. These guys were not magnetic, so I might give these guys a test. I mean, they're, they could be. Sterling, is this magnetic? Well, it's not magnetic either, but there's no marking. So I don't see any marking. Usually I look to find a marking. Um, but it's on some of the older pieces or the tiny tinies. There isn't any. This one has some sort of a weird... There we go. It's out. The chain's really pretty on this. The pendant's beautiful. It's got a nice, beautiful, long pendant. And all the stones are there. So that's a pretty piece. Okay, this was totally magnetic and it is a hot mess. This is a lot of wear to it. Um, although this looks silver to me. A kind of twist in that particular chain. Yeah. The, the square pieces are not... Well, that might have some sterling to it. It's only pulling on those little square pieces. And then I found this. This was pretty. But this is going into craft because I think one of the strings is all screwed up. Yeah, see? That's not supposed to do that. It goes in that pile. And this, I thought was, um, the beads are gorgeous. They look like they might be, yeah, they're all hand tied in tiny beads, but they're attached to this mop. I don't like that. So somebody could use these beautiful beads. And this says, Zak. Kasha, Zakasha. Well, let's let's check and see what that if there's any any information. So anyway, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures, and um, I am going through a Tennessee blue box. This might, you know, I'll go I'll go get, get through these guys, and. Um, then we'll go through that one. This is just gonna be two parts on this. I mean, I think I have enough for, just in this box for two more videos after this, but I'm not gonna put you guys through that. But this is Z-A-C-Z-A-C-Z-A-C-Z-A-C-Z-A-C-Z-A-C-Z-A-C-Z-A-C-Z-A-C-Z-A-C-Z-A-C-Z-A-C-Z-A-C-Z-A-C-Z
A S H A. That's it. Search. Oh, <laughs> here, this is interesting. Zaksha Silk Tassel Swarovski Crystals. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder if that is silk. I don't know. Zaksha crystal beaded boho tassel necklace. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be that way. But this one says Swarovski crystals. Look at, look at that necklace. Oh my God. But it's a cool style. Well, let's do what solds are. Those are always fun. All right. It does say Swarovski crystals on these. I don't want to save it. Hmm. Sakasha. Oh, man. Yeah, they're at around 25, but then there's some here that are $4.99. So, it's going to take more research. I don't know if these are Swarovskis. They're pretty tiny. They're beautiful. They have that beautiful luster to them that, you know, you know, some people know when they see Swarovskis that, oh my gosh. But, I mean, they might be. I don't know. They're tiny. Usually, usually, if somebody's using a Swarovski crystals, they say it on the piece, but I don't see it. So we'll put that aside. I won't put that in craft. This is another piece that I thought was really cool. I mean, it's really buttery soft. It's got these beautiful, they look like potato pearls, but they might be faux. And, you know, they're not potato pearls. I mean, there is a value to real pearls, but they're not here. So this is Milano by Nani. Well, since we have eBay up and about. This is stuff I, I do. I don't do it as often. Okay, so I'm gonna look and see if there's something that looks like mine. But let's filter. It's not the be-all, end-all It's of selling, but it's, it's kind of like what I use. Well, there's nothing here. So... Hmm. Chain, necklace, and bracelet, 925. There's nothing on here to indicate 925, but this is a really, really cool necklace. So that's a really cool piece. Doesn't look like it's ever been worn. There is a little bit of wear here, but that's nice. So we'll put that one aside for a future video. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with the rest of this on this video, Maybe we can go through and see if there's anything fun in here. Oh, there's a nice torque that's torqued. <laughs> that's funny. Cute brooch. Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, this is all a whole lot of fun. Oh, I found, I have this right here. It's missing a stone. I found a stone in the crotch of the box. So I have to dig that out. Oh, let's 
Let's see what we got going here. Oh, a cute little friend pen. Ooh, ooh, I hope that one's in there. That's a beautiful earring. But even though this cross, did I bury the cross? Oh, right here. <laughs> even though this cross is missing a stone, I don't think I am going to do anything with it. Because, I mean, by the time I glue it in there and then no one buys anything, buys it, I'm just like, you know, it's going to end up in craft anyway. So we'll see. We shall see. Little crop, little. Uh oh, don't go in there. Okay, what's going on? I have to fight with the box. Well, I have to deal with that later. Oh, and then I untangled this too. So I don't know what that is. It, well, I know it's an arrowhead, but there's no marks. So I'll put that aside with the rest of the necklaces. Okay, let's see what fun stuff we can find. Wow, that's pretty. But that's really worn out on the inside. But let's see, yeah, no, it's that. Might have a missing stone right off the get. Yeah, there's a rhinestone missing. But I love these kind of bracelets. So there's that holiday bracelet. And this, that's really pretty actually. And since it's missing a stone, I might just keep it for Christmas. I think it's missing a stone. We'll see. Yeah, see, you can kind of tell. It looks like it's missing a tooth. Okay then, there we go with that. See how fast we can go through the rest of this. This has got ribbons going through it. There is no maker's mark, but that's a cool, cool choker. Hmm. So let's take a look at this torque. That might be some wonderful scrap, you think? I don't think so. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna take a peek at it. I don't see any indication that it is sterling, but that would be a nice piece if it was. So we'll we'll take a look at that. Because if it's sterling, it's well I can probably untorque it. It needs a little bit of work, a little bendy there. Um, so what I will do is I will, yeah, look at how bent it is there. I'll see if that's sterling. It's not marked, so I doubt it. What is this? That part, that part is not. Hmm. Huh. We shall see. So let's go through this wonderful pile of Tennessee stuff. Okay, now I know that's a maker's mark. I'll have to do a Google on it unless somebody wants to share that information with me. This could be a, oh, this is so pretty. Look at that. That's really cool. I'll research that maker's mark. That is really cool. And I just, I'm just gonna skim through some of this stuff. These are nice. This is nice. This one's hooked on here. All right. Who are you? Hmm. 
Nice enamel piece. The color seems a little dated, but and there is no marking. It doesn't even look like it's ever been worn. Looks like a brand new piece. There's no wear whatsoever. So there's a possibility. All right, we'll just keep going. This also looks like it doesn't have any wear on the back. It'd be nice if this was a J. Crew, but I don't think so. Some wear on the clasp. Let's see if there's any stones missing, because this is, that's really pretty. I love that. But, and the chains are very nice. Okay, I'll put that aside. I see some wooden beads. And I see some plastic beads. Wow, look at that shell. Is that a real, sh yeah, that's a real shell. The pattern just doesn't, wow, that's gorgeous. That's really pretty. Nice, nice, nice. So we can get through some of these other pieces before my timer goes off. Okay, so what's going on with this? Nothing. This has a lot of wear on it. Have a seat, Joe. Hi. Hi. My brother has joined us. This is cool. Oh, it's got rhinestones on this side. Look at that. Wow, that's really interesting. Now, is it missing a, is it missing a chain? No, it's not missing anything that I can see. If it's missing anything, it's a rhinestone. And I don't see any rhinestones missing. I'll have to look at that some more. Nothing here to indicate what it is. I found this and it's not magnetic. So that might be sterling, but I doubt it. Zoe, you need a collar? Yeah, really? Is that a Zoe collar? All right, so what is this? Magnetic. These, some of them, this is a mess. This is going to poke somebody's in the back or the neck. And it says, hmm, I don't know what that says, but that's going into craft. That's my craft pile right there. <laughs> real team borax. There you go. Okay, here's an Alex. Is this an Alex and Annie? Sometimes they are and sometimes they aren't. And I don't think this is. This one, sometimes they can also, also be sterling. Because I found an Alex and Annie that was sterling. So we'll test it, what the heck. Again, this is still my first Tennessee blue box, so I am going to hang on to the earrings. Yeah. Honey, I'm on the, no, you, I'm, I'm recording. <laughs> Here's a little owl. It says wis wisdom. Kind of an interesting bracelet. Oh, it's pretty tiny, but I guess you could use it. Mm -hmm. Cute, cute little owl bracelet. Wasting time, wasting time. Let's see if there's anything else in here that could be considered fun and fabulous. That's cool. That's 
a very interesting earring. Wow, this has got a lot of going on here. Okay, this is the earring that I, I'm hoping to find the other one. There's another Hishi. That does not, no, there's a, there's a weird seam in there and it feels like it's plastic. That's cool, it's a mouse earring. This ah, it's a Napier, and it has just got a lot of problems. Oh my goodness! People, take care of your jewelry. This looks like it's missing a stone right there. It's a nice earring. Oh, a lion face. No mark. That's interesting. Earring. Sometimes the fun stuff is all the way at the bottom. One of those. Look at how dirty my hands are. Oh my gosh. What is that? This is a JJ earring. And it's a little moo cow. And you put the moo cow face in the front and then you put this in the back. That is so clever. Aw, hope the other one's there. This is a honker of a bracelet. And it says, John Wind. Why does that sound familiar? John Wind. Hmm. Bracelet. This looks like a piece of a bracelet or a necklace. Craft. Wow, look at that. That is one hell of a necklace. See what we got going on here. Mm -hmm. Did you find the little box? The little cross? Yeah, that. Yeah, it says 925 on it. It's like a little prayer box. Oh, that's kind of nice, this piece. Ooh. And this is cool. Those are beautiful beads. Oh, there's a mark on it. It says oh, look at the detail of this. something bead and um, I don't know. Whoops. Whip. Those are cool. Those are cool beads. Cool beads. This feels very lightweight. Let's oh, see. We're getting to it. My timer goes off and we'll just keep going. Hmm. Found a ring. And it feels cheap. We'll find out. Oh, kitty cat pin with green eyes. It's all there. <gasps> Ooh, cute. With the tassels, nice. Yeah, sometimes you can find some. Oh, <laughs> what are these guys called? Minion. Minion. You can have it. 
get it to blink. Oh, there's my timer, my half hour timer. Let's just go through here real quick and see if there's anything possible. Oh, there's a anniversary ring. Looks like this one, but mm -hmm. eh, who knows? I'm gonna put it on my army hat. Oh yeah, you get a little minion on your army hat. Okay. Yeah, lots of earrings. So anyway, that's about it. Here's a vintage pearl necklace and this one says japan so it is vintage it's a pretty piece so you even got the pearl still there on the top i know i'm rubbing them but sorry yeah these are these are costume Let's see what i got here let me see if I can get this in. This is this was stuck in here inappropriately. Let's see if I can get it out. I think I probably no. I don't know. This is gonna have to be fidgeted with. But I really want to find this other earring. Maybe it's in the other box. Cute little angel. Carol Eldridge. This. What's going on with this? It might be gold. Oh, it's glass. Yeah. Never see these tiny little rings. I always think they might be. Definitely a puzzle. Oh, you got it? Thank you. He fixed it. It was just improperly clasped. Yeah, there's all kinds of earrings here. Okay. That was easy. Oh, look at that. This is a button cover. Oh, cute. Look for that earring. That's pretty. Tassel pendant. Oh, it's an earring. Tassel earring. Okay. Oh. Fashion. Oh, but it's a cool bracelet. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty. A little solitaire stone. It's, you know... <laughs> This one might be sterling, so I hope that I can find the, the matching earrings. So what I'm going to do when I wrap this up is I'm going to separate everything out and sure. yeah, and then bring out the good stuff. What's with the nickel wafers? Oh, you want them? <laughs> no, it's part of my video. Okay, so we got a lot of little of these guys. So I'll test them all and. Get back to you. Okay. All right. This is Jeanette with Jan to Panda Treasures. Good night.